I have in front of me a brand new subscription box I've never opened up before. Never had it. I've actually never even seen a video of anybody opening up this box. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to be signed pictures. I don't know if it's going to be signed movie props. I don't know if it's just collectibles, if it's art prints. I honestly really don't know what to expect in this box. But Bandbox is a subscription box that I've been a part of for maybe six to eight months now. And they and I have purchased many of their pop culture and their horror boxes that come every single month. And uh, some months are great. Some months are good. Some months have been eh, left me desiring more. But all in all, I mean, it's been a decent box, you know. All in all, I never canceled my subscription. I kept it going. And... Uh, they started dropping this one called the BAM Big Box. It's only available, I think, like every quarter. And you don't really subscribe to it. You have to be like one of the first so many hundreds or something to buy it. And then it's sold out and that's it. So this box, I spent $69.99 on this box plus $9.99 shipping. My total shipped was $79.98. So this box was $80 shipped, but we only count shipping pretty much this box was $70 box the normal band boxes are like 35 bucks so this is the double the amount of the normal band boxes the BAM big box now here's like the little screenshot that I was looking at before I started this video that shows the BAM big box it is sold out it says this is not renewable first come first serve an extremely limited high-end autograph box that ships six times a year so so it's bi-monthly then we ship three pop culture and three horror box. I don't even know if this is pop culture or horror. I don't even know. Prices will vary depending on the celebrity. Oh, so price points every time are going to be different. That's different. You can expect an autograph, props, pen, and an art in each box. It says you can expect an autograph. Only one autograph for 70 bucks. I hope there's more than one autograph in there. Look for announcements on the next theme or release on the final Friday before it's due to come out. Prices vary according to the celebrity. They put that in very huge print right there, if you can see it. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know what to expect now. I hope for 70 bucks there's more than one autograph, because there's no... Uh, of course, it could be like a A-list autograph, though, too. I have no clue what to expect. So this is actually a lot of fun, because this is a brand new box. I think, I think the first time that they released this, I actually missed it. This time, I got it. So I'm going to try not to peek in here, even though I really kind of want to peek in here. Feel around a little bit. Premium black paper. Oh, there's something wrapped up in here. Let me put that off the side. Okay, what do I feel around in here? I feel something here wrapped up in black paper. There's two things here wrapped in black. Put those right there for now. I've this is either an art print. I think there's like maybe two art prints in here. I don't even know. So this, nothing in that one. Let me go ahead. Let me just do this small one to start with. This box was 70 bucks. Like there better be some very large stuff in this. Some really good stuff because like if I would have would have received like a Zobie, one of their pop culture or fright, you know, boxes, their mystery boxes, theirs are like, between 40 and 60 and the value is insane sometimes you get two or three autographs so for 70 bucks band box you better have delivered big in this box here we go first thing there are two pins in here okay oh so this one is from resident evil and resident evil looks like so this this says this pen has a limited release of 250. It looks like if there's a limit of 250, so they only had 250 of these boxes in, looks like. So here's some limited pens of 250. I don't collect pens, so like these don't really, you know, wow me that much. So there's the first thing. Um, this thing's all wrapped up. Maybe this is the movie prop or something. Let's just, let's just do it. Hopefully, this will be something like really awesome. Okay, I'll show you first. 
Okay, the back of this says Imtech, which is a knife company. It says ask your local knife retailers for other fine Imtech knives. So this is better be something awesome in here because I I've bought many Imtech knives off of Amazon. Imtech knives are very inexpensive. They're not very expensive knives. I mean, you can get an Imtech knife for like 10, 15 bucks. Sometimes less than that. Okay, this is just the basic. Why is this in here? Okay, so this is just this is a just a very basic M Tech M Tech knife. You can wear this on like a belt loop, and it's kind of like you're wearing a a knife gun. Um, okay, I, I'll once I'm done with this everything in this, I'll look this item up. So much as actually sells for on Amazon because I can easily look this up by barcode on Amazon to see what what they probably paid for this knife. I don't know why this Mtech knife is in this box for. Different. Okay, so it looks like I'm having to peek for just a second. Looks like we have two. Without looking too much. Okay, so we got two things left in this box. I'm guessing some art prints or autographs. You ready? Here's the first one. Oh, upside down. Okay, that's cool. We got Elvira right here. That's decent. Okay, I like that. Very large, looks like limb by 14 picture. It's been authentic authenticated by BAM. The back of it has the authentication card. Showing authenticity of this, it states Bam Box certificate of authenticity is done by 14 photo has been hand signed by Cassandra Peterson, who is best known for her character Elvira. It was hand signed during her private signing for the Bam Big Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. Okay, that's nice. Elvira. That's I this is like my I think my third Elvira autograph I have now. I've got a signed Funko Pop and two signed pictures, so. I got plenty of Elvira autograph, but it's a nice hit. Not bad. I guess there's like one item left. Is that okay? That's it. Okay, here we go. I think you kind of you peeked at it. I think you did. But anyway, here we go. Last item. Hopefully, this is another autograph or something. Okay, we have an art print. Uh, this is Bride of Frankenstein, I think. Number one twelve out of two fifty. Okay, down here in the bottom, it's signed by, like, initial by the artist. This says, This art print was from our fan art collection titled The Bride. Has been hand-signed by artist Oscar Van for the BAM Big Box and guaranteed to be authentic. Yeah, that's neat. That's okay. But I think... I think that's it. Bottom of the box... Here's the cheat sheet. Yeah, that's it. Four items. Okay. Um, what's in what's in the box? You get a Elvira. It is impossible to have divas of the dark without the head diva herself. We're proud to welcome Elvira into our first big Bam Box horror edition. So you had a possibility of two different Elvira autographs, like uh, led by 14s. Then you have this fan art print. The pins, and here's that knife. Movie-inspired weapon. We knew we wanted a weapon in this box. There were a few different props we kicked back and forth, but ultimately settled on an actual weapon. This is not a prop. The blade is sharp. This is a karambit that shows up in Evil Dead and Underworld. Yeah, you're kind of pushing it there. It's not a movie prop. It's just an M-Tech knife you bought off Amazon in bulk. Let me see how much this thing's worth. Looking on Amazon, this is the Mtech. I'm showing a picture right there. Mtech USA MT-20-63 BK MC Mtech fixed blade black. This sells new on Amazon, shipped for nine dollars and fifty-eight cents. 
So they obviously, they probably bought these in bulk from MTEC, so they got wholesale pricing, so they probably got these. Wholesale is usually about 60%, uh, between 40 and 60% of uh, what MSRP is, so they probably paid between four and six bucks for this, so they probably average out like five bucks all they paid for this knife. Ah, I, it says it's a movie inspired weapon. No, it's not. This is just an MTech knife that, okay. Um, thoughts on this box? That was $70. Okay, Elvira, um, she signs a lot of stuff. Her signing fee is usually in the $30 range. Sometimes she'll go as high as 40, uh, depending on the convention she's at. But if you're signing a bowl for 250, they probably charge, she probably charged them like 20 bucks an autograph. So, I mean, you could say to get this picture signed at a convention, meeting Elvira be as no more than like 40 bucks. This knife, I can buy brand new off Amazon right now for 10 bucks, actually less than $10 shipped, but we'll call it 10. So these two things are 50 bucks. And then the art print, um, and then two pens. Honestly, I don't even see $70 worth of value here. I don't see it. I don't see it. So, I mean, pretty much this was just a filler thing that they literally... Yeah, I'm really let down with this box. I kind of had high hopes for it. Paying 70 bucks for a premium band box sounded really good. It sounded like a cool idea, but the contents in this just don't meet the price point. Because, like, I got an Elvira picture out of a fearsome figures box that was not much more than what this box cost and I got an additional like three or four autographs in that box so yeah they the value is just not there on this box not there whatsoever you know I mean pins like this just a matter of dollars this knife I, I can buy for less than ten dollars shipped brand new if I contact Mtech and say, let me buy 250 of these, I bet you they'll sell me wholesale for, I bet you five bucks a piece. So, I mean, yeah. So that's my review of the BAM big box. So what's your, what's your views below? If you spent 70 bucks on this, would you be overjoyed with this content? Or would you kind of be like me and kind of like, I need a little bit more value for my money. The value just is not there in my, in my personal opinion. It's just not there. So, I don't know if I'll get another one of these boxes. Another one of the BAM big boxes. I don't know if I'll buy another one, honestly. I can't I can't really see spending 70 bucks and only getting out one autograph. And then just a random, just a knife. It's, it's I don't know. Okay, I'm done. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really honestly kind of shocked with what this box gave, it gave you four items for seventy dollars, only one autograph. It, you know, Zobi. If you bought one of their mystery boxes from Zobi, one of their subscription, you know, mystery boxes for sixty bucks, you you can get like their their fright box and get out using like two autographs plus a movie prop, you know, like a movie prop replica, and sometimes even more stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just comparing like, you know, apples to apples and I'm done. But yeah, the value on this was not there. So on this, a thumb and a half down. So that's my honest review. My honest review. So I'll see you next time. I don't know if I'll buy any more of these boxes or not. I mean, let me know down below if you if you want to see me waste another 70 bucks on the next box. See if it gets any better. I don't know. Let me know. But I'll see you next time. I'm out. Perfect. Perfect.